In this video, I'm going to go over how to get started with your digital planner in Notability. I will also include timestamps below in case there's a specific section that you're looking for, you can go ahead and jump right to that section. I'm first going to start by showing you how to import your planner into Notability. So you first want to go ahead and select the download button beside your purchase. Once you do that, you can open up Safari and you'll see the download icon here that's to the right of the search bar. Now it may look different depending on what browser you're using. When you click that, you'll see your download right there. So you can click the download and it'll bring you right to your files app. Now with zip files, you do need to unzip them in order to access the planners inside. To do this, you can simply click it and you'll see the blue folder appears beside and that has all the planners inside of it. If you are on a laptop, you would just double click it and then it'll automatically unzip and you'll see the folder beside it again. I'm gonna go ahead and select the folder and I'm gonna select and open a planner. Now to import it to Notability, you wanna select the share button here in the top right corner. When you select that, you'll see your apps appear and then you can select Notability. Then you wanna choose Create New Note, Import, and Done. So now the file was sent to Notability. So you can go right to Notability and you'll see the planner file is right there. Now you can also import directly from Notability. So you can select this button here at the top right, select Files, Select the file and then the planner, create new note, import, and it's gonna import the planner once again. Now, once you have the planner open in Notability, in order to use the hyperlink so that you can easily click to navigate the planner, you want to select this pointing finger button here at the top. When that is selected, you can then click on the tabs to navigate. You can click on the days to go to the daily page. You can click on the weekly button here to go right to the week as well and back to the month. Now, when you're wanting to write, you would just change the tool here to the pencil button. If you click into that, you can select the thickness as well as the color. As you can see here, we can change the color and then you can also pinch to zoom and you can write. Now, if you wanted to erase, you can select the eraser tool here and you can just go over that and it'll delete it. You can also use the highlighter tool to highlight anything. And now, if you wanted to again, go and navigate the planner, you would select the pointing finger button and you could jump to the next month. So that's how you can click around the planner. Now, if you want to change the planner cover, you can go to the overview section here at the very top right. Now, the other covers are located at the end of the planner. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll see the other cover options. Now, you can then select the one you want by clicking the three dots at the bottom left corner, hit copy, then you can scroll to the very top, select the three dots again on the very first page in the planner and select paste. Now it's gonna paste that cover in. You can then tap and hold it to drag it to the very top. And now with this other cover, you can copy and paste it to the bottom in case you wanna use it in the future or you can also delete it. And you can delete any page in the planner as well. Now, if you are deleting a page, it will remove all associated hyperlinks to that page. So just be careful when you are deleting because you can't add them back in, so you would have to use a new planner template. To delete the page, you would click again the three dots and select delete page. And then it'll fully delete that page. Now, you can also duplicate any pages within the planner. So you can hit the three dots again, select copy, select the three dots one more time, select paste. And there you go, there's the duplicated page. Now, 
To add stickers into your planner, we're gonna first go back to our files and I'll show you how to save them to your camera roll. So I'm gonna go into files and you'll see there's a folder that has your stickers and stickies in it. You wanna select that folder, then hit select, select all, select share here at the bottom left corner and then save images. Now, when you go to your photos, all your stickers are there. So we're gonna go back into Notability and then I'm going to jump to one of the monthly pages here. And then I can select the plus symbol here. Now, when you select the plus symbol, you do have different options. I'm gonna go into photo library and then it'll go right to recently added. And then you can select the sticker sheet and press add. Now your sticker sheet will be here. You can then tap the sticker sheet and you can select crop. So now you can use this tool to pick the exact sticker you want. So I'm going to go and select this orange sticker here. When it's fully around that sticker, press the check mark and now it fully cropped that sticker. So you can then move it anywhere within the planner. You can also resize the stickers and you can also write on top of the stickers as well. So if there's a post-it note you want to add, you can then write on top of that sticky note. Okay. And that covers the basics of getting started with digital planning in Notability. If you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message and I'm more than happy to help.